All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting over here in uh, the Freedom Office North, and uh, on occasion I've run across an article that I think is uh, relevant to our world today. First of all, I just want to give a big shout out to the guys over there at Lead Therapy uh, right there in Shelby, North Carolina on 74. I'm going to do a video with them, uh, but i got to be careful about it with YouTube and the way they are with uh, gun stores and things like that. So a video is coming really soon. So, uh, guys, I try as much as I possibly can to come up with articles that are somewhat relative of what we're talking about, what we do uh, as it relates to the Second Amendment. And this is by one of the biggest things. This is from the New Republic. This is an article that was... Uh, authored by Gene Guerrero on August 5th. Guys, this is this just shows you typically how idiotic these individuals are. So this thing's titled, Kamala Harris should reframe, reframe immigration as a gun control issue. Well, first of all, it's not immigration. And they kind of, they try to put the blame on Republicans as far as the immigration. Security border has nothing to do with immigration. I agree, we should probably go ahead and do something about deporting everybody who came across here illegally, that's immigration reform, okay? Uh, but the, da the danger of where we are right now is the border is unsecure, people are crossing over, they're unvetted, there's terrorists, there's people, there's murderers and rapists. Am I saying all of them are bad, bad? No, but you know what? Eventually what will happen is they were bringing their third world to us and when you tune to 20 million people, better learn how to speak Spanish or Farsi or whatever the hell it is you got. All right, so Kamala Harris should reframe immigration as a gun control issue. Uh, this is evidently, this is a big left-wing rag, okay? It, 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 it is really sick. Kamala Harris is achieving what many people believe was impossible, making Donald Trump look weak on the U.S.-Mexico border. By sustaining and strengthening her immigration counteroffensive, she can turn her opponent's main weapon into his Achilles heel. I'm not sure how they're going to do that, but the article goes on to keep saying that uh, the influx of firearms sold in America to cartels is making these individuals scramble to get across the border. When in fact what actually happened is when you say publicly that uh, come one, come all, they're going to come and they're kind of, all of them are going to come. And unfortunately what you did was this, thing is, this whole thing about don't come, don't come. Uh, didn't work. Uh, so, anyway, uh, this is a really interesting article. Let's read on. This strategy is long overdue to, from the Democratic Party, which has tended to dither in the face of Trump's border fear mongering. But Harris can do more to seize control of the immigration narrative. She can co opt Trump's signature issue by talking about border control in terms of gun control. Well, of course, everything has to turn into a gun control thing. Of course, uh, since now this is this is the part that kills me in this whole thing. If you're still with me, hang tight, because this ar this article they turn it into uh, it going into a racing. Since a 20 year old white man and a registered Republican tried to assassinate Trump with an AR style rifle, okay, it, it's just it, it's asinine. But again, this shows you what complete morons they are out there. I was watching the uh, thing with uh, Joe Biden the other day. And his whole thing about the thing, thing in Charlottesville, where the white supremacists came out of the woodwork, and it was all Trump's deal, and he said that these are good people. They still push that, that narrative. They still push the, the January 6th thing. Um, it's the lies, the blatant lies. And it's interesting to me is that I know friends of mine who are actually sitting out there, they believe this junk. They absolutely believe it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so let's talk about bullets. In the wake of his assassination attempt, Trump now falls into the same category as many of the immigrants. He's been scapegoating survivors of unregulated guns. Well, first of all, the regular gun that that kid was using was not, he stole it from his dad. Okay, uh, it's just and who knew? Who knew this kid was going to do something like that? Or who how, who was capable of? An iron river of U.S. firearms have flowed south for decades, causing unprecedented levels of bloodshed across Latin America in defiance of the region's strict gun laws. Hey, man, the cartels are going to do what the cartels are going to do. Uh, you know what? If we were in a lawless situation, I'm sure that uh, there would be cartels in the United States. But you know what? We have this thing called the Second Amendment. Uh, which protects us from doing that. If, if uh, Mexico was having such a gun problem, why don't they do something about it? 
as simple as that. More than half a million of U.S. guns are trafficked into Mexico annually, according to the country's estimate. Really? Never knew that. Mexico government is even suing U.S. gun manufacturers. Well, they try, but that's not happening. Although undocumented immigrants come from an increasing array of nations, the majority still come from Latin America, with the largest numbers of immigrants coming from Mexico and followed by Venezuela. Don't come. Don't come. I'm trying to make this go quick. Uh, <laughs> we can't have border control without gun control. It, that's just, uh, I want to throw up. As California's top prosecutor, Harris noted the importance of going after gun traffickers in 2014 report. Gangs beyond the borders. Of course, gangs beyond the borders. Hey, you know what? Clear and present danger. Set the boys from 82nd Airborne down there. Put some Rangers out there. SF guys. Let's blow them up. Let's kill them. No problem. And there you go. Uh, it observed California's largest port of entry made it attractive target for cartels to move weapons obtained in the other states. Biden-Harris administration tried to close the private sale loophole, but a Republican suit lawsuit stopped him. This whole loophole bullshit is absolutely killing me. And like I said, this, this goes all the way back to people who just are idiots. Uh, let's say, nevertheless, Biden and Harris have taken historic actions to disrupt weapons traffic, trafficking and thus reduce the violence that is displacing people across America, the Americas. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to read any further. You guys have the, the gist of this. I've already done this video like four times, and I get so angry during the whole process that I have to literally stop. But uh, anyway, they've got some other good ones in here about uh, Gorsuch going after the Supreme Court is going to just take over the world. And it's just, it's unreal. Uh, but anyway, I'll put the link down to the, below to this article. But these people are absolute morons. Unbelievable. Richard, your rifle's ready. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom. Y'all be good.